Hi everyone, my name is Billy and today we're going to be talking about what is GraphQL. If you haven't already, I highly recommend checking out my video on what is an API to get a bit more of an understanding. Okay, now imagine you're at a restaurant, you're hungry and you want to order a burger. But you don't just want any burger, you want it with extra cheese, no pickles and a side of fries. You tell the waiter exactly what you want and voila, you get your burger and chips exactly how you asked for it. A GraphQL API is just like that waiter. It's a messenger that takes your specific request from your application to a backend like a database. In this scenario, the backend is like the kitchen and you are the application. The backend prepares the data you asked for, just like how the chef prepares your burger just like you asked for. They then respond to your request with that burger. Now, let's also look at GraphQL like this. We're back in the busy town from my API video, but this time, instead of just a bakery, a toy store and a library, there's a new shop in town. A supermarket has just opened up, so now if you wanted a cake from the bakery, an action figure from the toy store and a book from the library, you can go straight to the supermarket and get everything you need from one location instead of visiting all these three different shops. So how does GraphQL work? Well, let me get a little bit technical, but as always, I'll keep it simple. GraphQL is an API just like I discussed in my what is an API video. But what makes GraphQL so special is its ability to query. A query is a specific request for data. So let's say with a more traditional API like REST, if I was at a restaurant and wanted a cheeseburger, I'll get a cheeseburger how the restaurants serve it with ketchup, mustard, lettuce, onion, and pickles. But I don't really like mustard or pickles, so that's why I'd use a GraphQL API as I could query for everything but the mustard and pickles. Another big advantage is being able to stitch together multiple different endpoints. So instead of calling three separate REST APIs three separate times, I can just call one GraphQL endpoint and get everything I need. GraphQL is designed to make APIs fast, flexible, and developer friendly. Again, if you haven't watched my video on what is an API, I'll leave a link in the description, and I hope you learned something new today. Goodbye.